I'm really excited to be here. I'm happy, as the songs say, because for me everything started some time ago and state of the net. I, it changed my life in many ways. So being here, being a speaker, talking about passion, it's, great, it's a really great chance for me to, to, to tell a story, to tell my story, to tell how passion defines my life, uh, changed my life uh, in two different ways. There are just two, there, there are many others, but these two are very important to me. First of all, I would like to talk with you about passion itself. What is passion? Passion, as I was telling you, is something which defines us. Uh, Donald Trump, which is not a poet, not a writer, says something very simple and very powerful at the same time. Without passion, you don't have energy. Without energy, you have nothing. So, you know, passion gives us the, um, gives us the strength to achieve our goals, whatever they are. Patients, patients help us uh, change, develop, evolve in something different, uh, into renewed human beings, ready to take the next step. And passion is also fun. You know, I took this photograph during a concert, and I don't even remember the name of this girl, but I remember the passion which she was singing, how strong it was. And you can see it by the way she is smiling uh, while singing, you know? Uh, so passion is also fun. And when you are passionate about something, you, need, you feel the need to share what you are doing, what you feel about it, what it means to you. Uh, and this, this need is as ancient as we are. It's always been there. What has changed today, really, is the way we can share uh, our passion and what we feel about it. You know, in the last two decades, you know better than me, probably, the World Wide Web and all the technology it brings changed the way we share everything. We share our passion. And then, you know, social networking platforms came into place and changed everything, changed the way we communicate with each other, changed the way uh, we interact with each other, changed the way we learn. Then again, mobile came into place. So there was a time in which to access all the knowledge, to, to, to share, to interact through computers, we had to stay in a house, sitting in front of our computer, and then this disappeared again. Today we bring with us our computers. We keep interacting while we are around the world, where we are walking, speaking with other people, eating with other people. Maybe that's not that good, but anyway, we do that. We do that every time. And the future holds new promises. You know, wearable is coming, it's changing something. We are trying, this is an experiment probably, but it says a lot of what is going to come for us. All those things have changed us in something that I like to call, but it's not my invention. I mean, uh, I think this is from Eric Schmidt, Augmented Humanity. And as, <laughs> as an augmented human, I live today my passions, which are uh, running and photography. Running, how can I say? Running is about who I am. It defines me. Uh, it helps me changing day after day. It keep me, keeps me focused on what I do, gives me discipline, and makes me stronger, not only in the body, but also in my mind. Photography, on the other side, it's about how I say things. It's about what I see. It's about the story I'm going to tell. It's about the way I think stories should have been told. And <laughs> let's keep it this simple. Um, without the internet, I wouldn't be uh, a, a photographer and a runner. Both of them would have been possible for me. So the answer is no. Let's talk about running. 
I started almost four years ago. And uh, as soon as I started, I found out that running brings pain, sweat, sacrifice, and then again pain, sweat, sacrifice. Uh, at, the, at the time I was uh, fat, slow, and I hadn't in that I didn't enough time to, to practice, so I, I kept being slow and fat for about one year. But going on, uh, training day after day, run after run, uh, what I got in exchange was self confidence, perhaps too much sometimes, focus, discipline, dedication, and above all, strength of will while running and while working, while being a father, in every uh, different aspect of my life. This was possible, this could happen, because of uh, what we call quantified self. Last year, Adriana Lucas taught us what quantified self is. Uh, you know, when you measure everything you do, running and uh, uh, training, you have the chance to understand better what you're doing and to evolve in something very different. Uh, for example, this is RunKeeper. This is the application I use to uh, measure my runs. And if you see here, you see all my life as a runner. You know, 3,477 uh, 3, kilometers run in my life, 401 activities. Uh, how many calories are burned? Everything about me is in this page. You don't know how much, how much pain it caused to me, but it's here. And I can see every day. And every day, when I don't want to run again because I'm too tired, I'm not uh, enough dedicated to what I'm doing, I can see this page and I remember who I am. And I go running. You know, I can see also, this is my first run ever, 2010, September. I was slow, I was fat, as I said. And I sometimes go there and see it where it was because it was another life. Because I, I don't live yet uh, there anymore because I'm divorced. It was another life, it was another time, it was another me. And it's still there. And it remembers me who I am and who I can be. And then, as I was saying, today you can share everything. And sharing means, in this case, uh, publishing your results and having people comment on it confronting it. You can publish them on Twitter, you can publish them on Facebook. This means that you are never, let me say never, alone. Because being alone while running, sometimes you need motivation, you need someone who pushes you. And if he isn't there, you are very alone. But if you have internet, if you have the chance to face a community or other runners, you can find something about yourself and the others interacting. And you find the strength to go on and keep running. Then there is competition. This is my, my favorite runner. This is a friend. And uh, right now he's fast, faster than me. He goes longer than me. And is the one who keeps uh, stimulating me in, in running. It pushes me, go, you just have to run, never stop. He is in Genova, I'm in Rome, and we run together, thanks to the internet. Of course, never underestimate the power of ego. You know, I'm a nerd, goddamn nerd. And when I started, I was uh, something very different from a, a, a tried runner I can be today. Publishing the results of every run, contributed to uh, create a certain kind of image of myself on the internet among other people. And I, you know, I love that image. I'm very fond of it. And I keep running because I don't want to lose it. Because I want people to pursue me like I am now. The way I change it, running. And then there is something you can remember you know, this is mm, pretty exciting for me because this is the fastest, run of my the fastest run of my life. I was in Tel Aviv. I was full of anger. My life was going to change very deeply. And 
I remember that I started, I was in Jaffa in the port down there. I took some, uh, some 400 meters, then I looked right, and there was all the skyline of the city, and was the sea. And I started running, and I was so fast that at the, at the end of it, my life uh, had changed a lot, because I took some very important decisions that are still affecting my life today. And every time I look to this page, every time I, I find out where is in uh, Run Keeper this run, and I look at it, I remember every single step of the run. And I remember who I am and why today I am what I am. What has changed it and why? Of course, while you run, you have the chance to inspire people, to give something. Because the way you go on, the way you insist, the way you push yourself over your boundaries can be something inspirational to other people. And then you can use the internet to address how much you changed. You know, the friend you saw before, Andrea Bege, left 2009, right 2012. That's how we changed, thanks to running. Then we go back to photography. Photography, as well as running, couldn't have existed in my life without the internet. Photography for me is about, is this, what I see is what you get. Because I take pictures to share them. Because I take pictures trying to find out something uh, that tells what, who the people I have in front of me are. And you, you can have an example here. Now, this is what I see. This is a, during the Journalist Festival. This is what you get. Internet gave me access to a wide, huge, enormous uh, amount of knowledge about photography. Uh, it's where I found out every information I needed about the, the camera I had, about the way to use it, about uh, the very good photographers we had in history. Then it's where you find experts. Many of them know him. This is Luca Sartoni, he's a friend of mine. He's a growth engineer at Automatic, and he's a good photographer, too. It, he taught me how to, to take for pictures in the very beginning, and, and he's always there to, to tell me if a picture of mine is good or not. He's living in Austria, so it's very far from, my, from, from me. We never met, but we, always, we keep talking through the internet. And I keep, he keeps giving me, giving me advices about the way I take pictures. In, in his way, which is <laughs> particular and, <laughs> and very hard. For example, you, you see, you see this, this picture, see his eyes, you'll find that there is a, um, a circle of light because he, uh, which is a passful building. Anyway, um, he, make, he made one with the, the help of some people. He made the light and then explained on his, on, uh, on his very um, blog how he did it. So if you want to do a light like that and command it and um, use it from, from far thanks to, the, to, the, to a remote, you can, use, you can go on his blog and access to this kind of knowledge. You can find amazing software. This teaches you how uh, reflex works all the principles of photography. And then, thanks to the internet, you can share what you do. You can distribute your photos. You can, you can build something. You can build another image of you, another. You can build your personal brand and become a photographer, on, perceived as one. You can do it on Facebook, on Twitter. You, <laughs> you can build relationship. This is a story I wanted to tell, because this is uh, a model uh, uh, I met in, uh, in Berlin uh, two years ago. And she's, as you can see, she's very beautiful. Uh, I wanted to meet so bad that time that I took a photo, I took a picture. I um, prepared it on the, on, the, um, on the iPad. Then I went near her and I told her, this is your picture. I just want to tweet it with your name, but I don't know your name. What is your name? She gave me name, <laughs> telephone, email, So you can, use, you, can, you can use pictures to build relationships. 
You can show passion. You can go to the concert and show what kind of uh, peculiar atmosphere you find there. No, this is Virgiliana Miller, this is an Italian group. They're fantastic. And the, the last um, record they published, it's called the Let the Kingdom Come, Venga il Regno. Look at this picture. It's like a prize. Or can, you can report news. This is the, the day, the very day, uh, Stephen Elop told he was stepping down from Nokia. And I had the chance to take this picture, which is in front of a giant, um, how do you call this? A giant thing like this. <laughs> and uh, if you see this picture, it seems like it's going away. You know, it's like th there is something sad in this picture. And when you take picture, the difference is where you are, in which, at, at what time. You, you get to find the place. For example, this is Laika. Laika is history of photography, and this is the jubilee of Laika. They are, it's a party they are, they, they, they are, they are having. Then the, 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 the photographer there is Nick Hoot, a Pulitzer Prize for the Napalm Girl, the photo the, of the girl uh, after a Napalm bomb in Vietnam. And this one is uh, uh, Kaufman, the owner of Laika. I was there. And then I published this one. I was on the other side. So I have Nikut taking a picture of Kaufman. And that down there is Greg Semetko, another great photographer, American photographer. So uh, you get to be relevant. You get to stay there. And you get to take as many pictures as you can. So my advice is this one. And I'm, con and I'm finishing here. Stand up now. Leave the sofa. Follow your passion. Use the internet uh, to, to follow and to pursue them because it's time to change for you, for every one of us. We don't have any more excuses because we have all we need to uh, pursue our happiness and our passions. For me, for example, the next thing I'm going to do, and probably I will do here, is singing. Just Think about what you're going to do it next. Thank you. Thank you.